Okay. <laughs> All right. Tonight I want to talk about the long silver tongue. My tongue is not very long. You seen that guy on Kiss got that tongue? You know, <laughs> he must have a ten-inch tongue. Some people just deformed. I thought about finding a dog that's got a long tongue and putting on in my picture, but I found the, this one dog that's got a tongue that like wraps all the way around its head like that. <laughs> that's funny. Anyway, talk about the long silver tongue. You know, I, I get this from my pastor. He said one time I preached a sermon and <laughs> I guess he must have liked it pretty good because he comes by and he says, he says, you know, so there's not a lot of people silver tongued like you and I. And I, I guess he's got a point, you know, in, in a way, how that, you know, God, you know, through, through our practice and godly uh, magnetic pull toward those things, uh, you know, the Lord has learned us to speak a little better and to think on our feet so to speak and that's a good thing that's a good thing the Bible says a wise man it's a wise man that wins souls so <clears throat> we do this thing and we try to do our best as far as uh, um, influencing others for good godly purposes but it, it seems that some of the, well not some, a lot of them, their, their silver turns into dross. Um, or you might say their silver turns into gold. Gold plated or something like that. Well, this is what it is. They begin to speak on behalf of money rather than godly things. Jesus said plainly no man can serve God and money too. And there's um, uh, preachers on television and these and these guys are getting it seems to be getting with all of the they seem to be getting with all of the the main evangelist T V characters. Lately I noticed that they're with Rod Parsley. Matt Matt Murdock is that his name? Plays the piano. It's that type of thing, you know. Long silver tongue. His reach reaches out to gain for money rather than godly things. And they might say, well, it's for a good purpose. It's it's not ministry that's the thing that's wrong with it you know and they're um, using that just to collect money ministry is not money the see now that's the that's the thing that Christ was upset about when they came into the temple he says you have made it a den of thieves well they had changed the purpose from um, uh, ministry ministering to the people that changed the purpose from ministering to the people just to gain money to gain finances and that's the thing that Christ was upset about I know that I've seen some of the interpretations of the New International Version Bible there it says um, I got a sneeze uh, stop it okay um it says, um, it, I forget exactly the way it says it, but it's, it doesn't say that um, they had changed the purpose for getting, just for getting money. That's, you know, it was it said something else. But, you know, if I knew I was going to get on that subject before I got here, I would have went and got that Bible and read it. But, you know, go look it up. It talks about, but Christ was clearly there. You know, as a matter of fact, the NIV doesn't even say thief. 
doesn't have the word thief in it. You have made a den of thieves. Thieves, like the King James says. It says something else. <coughs> but that's what uh, men have used that terminology for. The, the talent that God has given, given them to win souls, they just begin to win money. It's no longer about souls, it's about money. Lester Summer, one of the, one of the greatest men of our day, he's, I, I admire him so much. Because no matter how, how much money it's, you know, he could have had the bigger house. He could have had a bigger house than any evangelist. He could have had planes galore like you had never seen. But he chose not to do that. He did just like Moses. He chose to make himself lowly and not sit in a king's house. You know, you know this, this is a subject that we could go on and on about. But let me tell you something. If you, if God has given you a talent to talk and you use it to gain money with, then you will answer to him on that day for what you have done with the talent that God has given you. Go read the parable of the ten talents. The one that took his and did nothing with it he was cast out and what Christ is referring to there as doing nothing means doing nothing godly you can do everything worldly that you want but you are hide yourself in the world and you do nothing godly with what God has given you to do alrighty God bless thanks for joining me we'll see you again next time another great message crossing the middle ministry